to say hello welcome to like excellence welcome to our ncert economy series in this video we are going to discuss chapter 5 of 12th class macro economy in this the fifth chapter is related to the government functions and scope in this chapter the government's functioning with regard to the economy with regard to fiscal policy this is the policy fiscal policy with regard to this policy we are going to discuss issues or uh, relating to budget what is this budget what are different components in the budget why do why do the government need to require to introduce this budget what are the functions of budget and are there any concepts known as deficit if it is there what are what are the types of deficits we will be understanding we will also be understanding function of government in maintaining price stability along with fiscal policy how using fiscal policy price stability growth can be achieved by the government we will discuss these components in this particular chapter this is very very important chapter fiscal policy and the government's role and its scope let us start with this here in the first paragraph it is told that in any mixed economy both the private players public players will be there because we are saying mixed economic model where economic activity is by the private actors as well as the public actors here government controls both the private and public through an instrument known as budget what is this budget about let us learn about it budget consists of the revenue that the government is getting and the expenditure that it makes for providing different services different welfare programs etc so budget is the cumulative account of government's revenue as well as expenditure here there are many functions of going for this instrument of budget it is not simply an account of revenues and expenditure it has more functions let us see what are they first of all there are certain goods which are called public goods which means anyone can access those goods without any payment and then there are other goods known as private goods which can be accessed if you have the purchasing power if you have the purchasing power you can access the public good or public private good or private services public good public services can be accessed by anyone so in such cases if you take india if we take india 30% of our population is living under poverty line for them accessing private goods would be difficult so basic services basic goods are provided as public goods and services it means the amount that they are receiving that the government is receiving some part of it is spent expended on the public goods and public services it means money how to allocate that money for different purposes that is one of the functions of budget in budget we allocate money which purpose what is the allocation etc so in this expenditure side we allocate money to create public goods and services so that is one of the important functions of budget 